welcome back to another one of my videos. This episode we're going to go back to my little thing about cooling on Lambretta engines. And we're going to make some comparisons and try and understand why Lambretta runs hot and other engines don't. And why the P200E is the car to also Europe. Okay, first of all we're just going to make a cylinder comparison. Vespa P200E, Lambretta TS1 barrel. This is your standard head on a Lambretta. Uh, you can see the size, the volume comparison of this compared with the cylinder head on the Vespa. The main fins are like, let's just take it, let's get me a measuring tool. Measure in tool. Let's have a look at how long the fins are on that. I mean, they're quite exaggerated, isn't they? Look at that. <laughs> there we go. That's the length, the length of the fin on your Vespa. 60 millimeters, right? Lambretta length is... <laughs> Let's have a look. 20 millimeters it's literally so we're looking at literally I would say without measuring every fin and making a making a, an exact comparison by rule of thumb I would say the Vespa head has three times the amount of fin area triple that of a Lambretta so therefore three times the cooling capacity of a Lambretta head and then we'll look at the barrel. The barrel, the airflow comes this direction on the Vespa and blows unobstructed straight across all the fins. Straight across the head, unob no obstruction whatsoever and straight through the fins, right? They've also added extra finish on the exhaust port side. It's an elongated finish on the Vespa. That's why Quattrini, when he did the uh, Quattrini 210, he put extra finish on the, on the side of the Lambretta barrel to try and aid cooling. Because the coolest part of your barrel is going to be where the first uh, cool air hits it, and the hottest part is the other side, which is going to be down here. So by adding more fins, you sort of control the convection and the heat and it, get it a little bit more even. So you've got even cooling across the barrel whereas Lambretta is just going to be left hand side cool right hand side baking hot because it's got the same amount of fins on both sides and the finish on the barrel is probably about half of what's on the Vespa barrel so your barrel is about half the half the cooling capacity and the cylinder head is about one third cooling the capacity of the Vespa so that's why this engine is renowned for its reliability and being the car torso Europe because at the end of the day the crank's no better the pistons no better the ignition system's exactly the same why is it reliable it's cooler and that's the only reason engine temperature is the main reason for reliability that's why we turn to water cooling because the engine reliability is better. You maintain optimum temperature all the time. So, from there, we'll go on to something else. Now, first of all, the Vespa flywheel. The car horse of Europe. Diameter, I bet my, uh, it does, <laughs> it doesn't even go out, out wide enough. We're gonna have to get a tape measure because it's so big. Right, I've managed to find a tape measure. Because the Vespa flywheel is so big, the diameter is so big, that I need a tape measure. Right, it's 200 wide. The diameter is 200 millimeters on the Vespa. The, big, the larger the diameter of the flywheel, at the same RPM, you have increased fan speed. The bigger and bigger you become the flywheel at the same RPM, at 1000 RPM, for example, the speed of this fin will be much faster than that one. 
So therefore it's flowing more air with less revolutions. Hmm. No wonder it's so reliable. So why is our Lambretta suffering so much? Well, this one is a BGM and this scored on my flow better than most. And it's 160 millimeters across. That's not so bad. This is 200 millimeters across. So 160, 200, we're looking at about probably 20% more efficient on the Vespa flywheel. Then we'll go down to this uni flywheel, which is the same as the AF flywheel, and we'll see that the diameter is even less. 140, 140 milli millimeters across. It's tiny. So therefore, that is gonna be probably another 10% less than this one, or even more. If you do the proper calculations, maybe I should do the calculations on the calculator. Uh, diameter, circumference, and then uh, fan speed at uh, 1000 RPM. We can work it out. But without going too much maths, that has not only smaller fins than the BGM, much smaller, it's even the diameter's less, so the fan speed's less. So BGM um, is one of the best. The Vape also scores quite high. I did a lot of tests if you want to go back and look at some of my videos. But another thing we'll note about the Vespa flywheel is that it's dome shaped. It literally, it's literally dome shaped, the whole flywheel. So then the air is drawn in and it's forced down and then out. And this increases airspeed because of this dome. That's what I've said about having machine centers for your flywheel. It, on a Lambretta, it made 2% difference. On this one, it could be, it could be 2 or 4% difference, I don't know, without doing tests on it. But just by physically looking at it, you can see that the, uh, the difference is immense. There's ways of increasing your, your fin uh, size and flow. We could literally machine away the outside of these areas in between each fin. We've got a lip on the mag housing. If we took the lip of the mag housing off and then machined each one of these down, like the Vespa one, actually creating a curve in it, we could increase more flow. How much it would be and how much time it would take to do, um, hmm, any cooling's worth the effort. That's what I say, anything. So, that's why the P2 is the car to also Europe. Nothing to do with some mechanical uh, excellence. There's, there's no, the bearings aren't any better. The crank's no better. The pistons are no better. Mechanically, it's not that much difference, but the cooling is immensely more efficient. And that's what it is. I love Lambrettas. Bloody hate these Vespers. Damn reliable buggers. Oh, I hope you all enjoyed that. Me throwing my teddy out the pram, all the griping about how good the Vespa cooling is and how bad ours is. Why can't companies get it right? It's, I just don't understand. We're paying them big money for, for kits and flywheels and all this stuff. They just ain't got it right. None of them. I'm shocked. See you later. Enjoy. Have a good day.